We have seen that RAM memory is volatile. In other words, if you lose power, all your data is lost. ROM isn't volatile, however, it is read-only, so we can't change the data it is storing. We need to use memory that will allow us to write to it and will store the data even when there is no power. Such memory is called secondary storage. Perhaps the most common form of secondary storage is the hard disk drive, which is a form of magnetic storage. There are different forms of magnetic storage, such as the floppy disk and magnetic tape, but they are not commonly used anymore. Magnetic storage works by storing individual bits of data as either north-south, representing binary 0, or south-north, representing binary 1 on a magnetic tape or disk. As we learned previously, computers only understand binary numbers, 1s and zeros, so we only need to be able to store these two different values. A hard disk drive is made up of a stack of disks with a magnetized coating. These disks are known as platters. These platters sit on a spindle which the disk will spin on so we can find the right place when reading or writing data. The hard disk drive also has a read-write head. This moves across the platters as it's spinning to locate the track and sector where we want to read or write to. When writing, this can then change the magnetization to store the data. What are the relevant features of hard disk drives though? Capacity. Because you can use both sides of the platter, and you can increase the number of platters, they have a very large storage capacity. Speed. Because there are lots of moving parts, magnetic hard disk drives are relatively slow to read and write data. The disk needs to spin into place and then the read-write head needs to find the right track and sector. This takes time. Portability. Because hard disk drives are not very durable, they are not very good as portable storage devices. They are also bulkier and heavier than most alternatives. Durability. Due to having a lot of small moving parts, they can be easily broken or damaged if dropped, or potentially even knocked heavily. Reliability. Generally speaking, magnetic storage is very reliable. They can handle an infinite number of writes, and if a platter does fail, data could be stored on the other platters. Cost. On a per megabyte basis, magnetic storage is very cheap. For example, a one terabyte solid state drive would typically cost three to four times more than a one terabyte hard disk drive. Overall, hard disk drives are used often as the main internal storage device used in personal computer systems. This is due to their low cost, excellent storage capacity, and good reliability. They have become less popular in more recent laptops though, due to their size, lack of durability, and the improved capacity of solid state drives in recent years. Hard disk drives can also be used as external storage devices. For the same reason they're popular for internal storage, external hard disk drives are very popular for backing up data that can then be stored in a safe remote location. There are several types of solid state storage devices which we commonly use nowadays. For example, solid state drives are a popular alternative to hard disk drives. USB flash drives and SD cards are popular forms of solid state storage that are used as portable storage devices. Solid state storage devices store data using semiconductor chips. These chips can be switched to either an on or off state. The on state represents a one and the off state represents a zero. What are the relevant features of solid state storage though? Capacity. Solid state storage devices do have a large capacity. However, it quickly becomes expensive and so they don't generally offer as much storage as magnetic storage. Speed. Unlike most other storage media, solid state storage has no moving parts to access data. This gives it very fast read-write speeds. Portability. Solid state storage devices are generally quite small and lightweight. They are also quite durable. This makes them good as portable storage devices. Durability. Because they have no moving parts, they are less likely to be damaged by knocks and bumps, making them quite durable. Reliability. Solid state storage devices have a finite number of writes before they no longer work. This makes them less useful for devices that require regular writing to the disk, like many servers. Cost. Solid state storage devices are expensive when compared to most alternatives. A one terabyte solid state drive would typically cost three to four times more than a one terabyte hard disk drive. Overall, solid state storage devices are extremely popular as portable storage devices. 
This is due to their fast read-write speeds, being small and lightweight, and being quite durable. They also provide better capacity than other portable options. This is especially true of USB flash drives, which are very small and portable, and have a built-in USB connector for good compatibility. As well as being used as portable storage devices, solid state drives are often used as an alternative to hard disk drives as the main internal storage device. This is especially true in smaller devices like smartphones, tablets and some laptops. This is due to their small size, durability and because they don't use as much power as hard disk drives. However, even in desktops, they are starting to become more popular due to their fast read-write speeds and because the capacity of a solid state drive has been catching up with hard disk drives. The last type of solid state storage we've mentioned is the SD card. There are a number of variants of this, such as micro SD. Overall, these types of storage media are used for extended storage in small devices like smartphones and cameras, as they're very small and thin. So, secondary storage are devices that are used for long-term storage of data. Magnetic hard drives are made up of platters and can store lots of data. They are relatively slow and can be easily damaged. They are cheap to buy and can be used indefinitely. They're commonly used as the main internal storage device for personal computers. External hard disk drives can also be commonly used for external backups of data. Solid state devices store data using semiconductor chips. They are very fast, portable and durable. However, they're relatively expensive, don't have as good capacity as hard disk drives and can only work for a finite number of writes. They are very thin and so are ideal for mobile devices. 